looking for a doctor. There's nothing to worry about. Stewardess, I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers. They're very sick. Could you come take a look at them? Yes. Yes, of course. See your tongue. I'll be back in a minute. You'd better tell the captain we've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Tell the captain I must speak to him. Certainly. Victor, we're running into some heavy weather. Can you... Roger, take over. just not sure. Well, can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Fog has closed down everything this side of the mountains. We've got to get through to Chicago. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything like this since the Anita Bryant concert. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak or fish. Yes, yes, I remember. I had lasagna. What did he have? He had fish. Doctor, there are two more sick people, and the rest of the passengers are worried. I'll take care of the passengers. Find out what the two sick people had for dinner. This is Captain Over speaking. Bumpy up here, but we'll be past it in a few minutes. Uh, a couple points of interest. We're now flying over Hoover Dam, and a little later on, we'll pass just to the south of the Grand Canyon. Meanwhile, relax and enjoy your flight, okay? Chicago, this is flight 209er. We're in trouble. We've got to have all traffic below us cleared, and I want a priority approach and landing in Chicago. Yes. Oh, stewardess, my husband's very sick. Can you do something, please? Well, the doctor will be with you in just a moment. Uh, one thing, do you know what he had for dinner? Yes, of course. We both had fish. Why? Oh, it's nothing to be alarmed about. We'll be back to you very quickly. Dr. Rumick, Mr. Hammond ate fish, and Randy said there are five more cases, and they all had fish, too. Yeah, the co-pilot had fish. What did the navigator have? He had fish. All right. Now we know what we're up against. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious is it, Doctor? Extremely serious. Starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat. As the virus penetrates red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy. Because we experience an itching, a rash. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. 
At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flagellants, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. 